That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, for whatever reason, when Vice President Pence actually visited the Mayo Clinic the other day, he was going through there, obviously related to the coronavirus, seeing some of the testing that they're doing and, and some of the patients that they're visiting with. <laughs> There's a, uh, there was a pretty visceral reaction by the left to him not wearing a mask. And leading the charge on this, I think probably the funniest take that I found throughout this was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who has the IQ of a potato and really puts that on display. And what's really hilarious to me, and part of the reason that I even decided to do this as my Daily Dose of Stupid today, what's really hilarious is watching a very dumb person make themselves sound dumb while calling another person dumb. I just, I don't know. I've always found that horribly amusing. And so here is AOC tweeting about the vice president's visit the other day where he did not wear a mask. So if you'll look, there's AOC's tweet where she says, when I warned everyone in February that Pence doesn't believe in science and shouldn't be in charge of COVID response, I meant it. But... I admit I did not have VP visits COVID patients without wearing a mask on my bingo board. So that's AOC's hot take on that, which I just find hysterical for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, COVID, <laughs> uh, the patients not wearing a mask, even if Pence was rifled and just uh, lousy, with coronavirus even if he was a walking coronavirus factory it makes no sense to criticize him for not wearing a mask when he visits covid patients why because the mask is not to protect him the mask is to protect everybody else that's what the mask does it's supposed to prevent the likelihood of you transmitting the virus to another person so it makes no sense to be protective of yourself when you're around COVID patients. Now, the thing is, COVID patients were not the only people he was around. And so it would be very easy for AOC to make the case that what he was doing was dangerous to other people in his presence. But she specifically says it's a danger <laughs> to the COVID patients, which are the only people he interacts with that would not be in danger even if he were not wearing a mask and was sneezing on them and had the coronavirus. Uh, just remember this the next time that AOC tries to lecture somebody on being anti-science for not believing that the world is, like, going to end in 12 years, like she said earlier. I try to do the uh, AOC impersonation, but I don't have gigantic anime eyes, so it's not good. I can do this, but that's about... The extent of it. I can't do the bug eye thing that she does. <laughs> uh, but even if that were the case, like I said, AOC's comment makes no sense. But the thing is, even the people that don't have coronavirus or presumably don't would also not be harmed by this because Vice President Pence gave an explanation. When asked about this in an interview and said, well, Vice President Pence, you're in charge of the task force for fighting this thing. It's part of your guidelines that you should not, that you should be wearing a mask because that prevents the spread of coronavirus to other people. Why were you not wearing the mask? Pence gave a very logical answer, which is, well, I'd just been tested. He had just tested negative for coronavirus, which means he didn't have it, which means there's no reason for him to wear the mask. And what was really funny about this whole thing is that th this was just such a common sense, natural thing for Penn today. I mean, he just, he really handled that, that explanation. I like a pro when he was talking about it, because if you don't have it, there's no reason for you to wear the mask. Because like I said, the mask is not to keep you from getting sick. The mask is to keep other people from getting sick from you. And another thing to remember in all of this is that, Vice President or not, Pence is a politician. 
and politicians like to do photo ops. Now, you could make the argument, and by the way, a friend of mine made this argument, and I agreed with him, that maybe, if nothing else, just to set an example, that he should have worn the mask. Okay, I, I can buy that. That's a legitimate concern. That's a legitimate argument that since he is the head of the task force, since he was in a place where everybody else was wearing the mask, President Pence should have worn the mask, even if he knew that it wasn't going to do any good, if nothing else, to set an example for the rest of the nation. Okay, I can buy that. If AOC had tweeted that out, I would have been still laughing at her because, I don't know, she's just a funny human being and she's not real bright. But the point is, she would have at least had a good point. That's not the point that she made. And Don Lemon also made the incorrect point last night when this happened. This was Don Lemon on CNN last night actually wearing a mask. And he didn't wear it through the whole, school, the whole show last night, but he was wearing a mask to make a point on Pence. And I, I love the ticker tape down there, under there, that explains what's going on. Pence flouts Mayo Clinic's policy on mask, which is to wear one. Well, I don't know. Maybe that is Mayo Clinic's policy. Actually, I, I do know for a fact that that was their policy and they had masks provided there for the vice president. But what's funny on that is he just been tested. There was no reason for him to wear a mask. And the whole reason for Mayo Clinic's policy is to keep him from infecting other people, which again, could not happen because he had just tested negative for the thing. I, the, the obsession with trying to dunk on Pence... It's just a dumb thing that they all just went crazy about. And here's the funny thing, too. Let me see if I'm understanding this right from all the... Because I'm just a, a dumb conservative that doesn't understand science and hates science, even though I think that the science is correct on there being only two genders and for people in the womb that are actually human life, which is what the science leads us to believe. But remember, I'm just a dumb, mouth-breathing conservative that doesn't appreciate science and hates science. Uh, because I'm also religious, which means I'm anti-science as well. Uh, let me under see if I'm understanding you correctly, Don Lemon. Vice President Pence, even though he had just tested negative, and by the way, Don Lemon knew this because he actually played that same comment on his show last night. Vice President Pence, having just been tested, not wearing a mask, he's a danger to people around him. Don Lemon, sitting... I'm sure more than six feet away from everybody else in his TV studio wearing a mask that's protecting people somehow. Are you, you afraid you're going to transmit coronavirus through the, uh, the, the TV screen, which granted, I mean, I know it sounds crazy on its surface, but it's not all that far fetched. I mean, think about the last time you watched CNN. I mean, maybe it was three or four years ago, but the last time you watched CNN, you probably felt a little queasy too. I, I know I did. I watched it yesterday, and I was like, I felt sick the whole time. So that's Don Lemon's hot take on this. Now, to, to Don Lemon's credit, he did something that normally Don Lemon doesn't necessarily do, which is give the other side an opportunity to talk and explain himself. He did play President Pence, or sorry, Vice President Pence. He did play Vice President Pence's comments on this and his explanation of it live on the air to sort of give Pence a chance to defend himself. But... What he did say in rebuttal after hearing Pence explain this, he said, well, maybe he got a false negative. Well, probably not. And the thing is, with President Pence, he's the vice president. So he's probably, I know for a fact he's tested at least once a day because he's already said that. He's probably tested pretty much everywhere he goes and probably tested multiple times to rule out the odds of a negative. Now, the new tests that they have are incredibly accurate. There's a very, very high degree of accuracy. But I'm guessing they probably administered like at least two or three tests because he's the vice president. And by the way, this isn't a partisan thing. I'm sure they're doing exactly the same thing for people like Nancy Pelosi, other prominent Democrat senators like Chuck Schumer. I'm sure that they're having the same thing done for them too. But the idea that he's just assuming that Pence is doing this because he's an idiot when Pence has a very legitimate excuse for why he didn't see the need to wear the mask is it's just it's obvious Don Lemon is just stretching for some way to somehow justify the outrage that he had at this initial story when he didn't have all of the facts. And so once Pence gives his explanation, he's trying to figure out a way to make himself right, even though new information has been presented, which is the. I mean, really, it's the sign of a zealot and a crazy person. <laughs> and then another explanation that Don Lemon gave is that, 
Well, Dr. Fauci, a couple months ago, was saying just because you tested negative today doesn't mean you're going to test negative tomorrow. Well, again, President Pence has probably tested every time he goes somewhere. <laughs> I mean, every time he sets his foot outside the door, they probably test the guy. So the idea that it's been 24 hours since Pence, first of all, again, like I said, that's not true. He's tested every single day. And he's also at a testing facility in the Mayo Clinic. For all we know, he got tested the second he walked in the door. We don't know. Uh, to assume some kind of ill intent or flippancy or whatever and trying to make this into a big deal, that's really the media and the left doing something stupid. Like I said, you could maybe make the argument that it wasn't a great PR move and that if nothing else, just to be an example to other people, that Pence should have followed the Mayo Clinic's guidelines generally and worn the mask. I know that Pence didn't do that, or at least I'm, I'm speculating, but I can't think of any other good reason that Pence probably made that decision because he wants the photo op, he wants his face there while he's visiting the Mayo Clinic. That's how politicians think. Heck, that's how I think. Remember that I also didn't wear a mask when I was on air at the protest a couple weeks ago because I'm on camera. And I'm willing to take that very tiny, minute risk that I wind up infecting someone, even though I don't see how that would have happened because I've been quarantined for 30 days prior to that, in order to have my face on the camera when I'm broadcasting. But Pence has an even better excuse than that. He had just been tested. So again, it's, it's all stupid. You could make maybe a legitimate PR complaint here, and I don't think that's an unfair criticism to lob at the vice president. But as usual, the left completely overplayed their hand, made a huge deal out of nothing, and then they got caught with their pants around their ankles and had to figure out a way to justify their fake outrage that they had had just a few minutes prior before they had a good explanation. That's what happened here. Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow son of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances.